This is the installation of a Sense power meter. This is the solar version. Uh, first thing I decided to do is install the antenna for the Wi-Fi. I had a uh, 2x4 underneath my panel that I needed to get through, so I drilled a hole directly underneath the punch out, and then uh, I punched out that hole. Uh, I expanded the hole and then installed the, the Wi-Fi antenna. I decided to do that first because it looked like it'd be the most difficult part of the installation. The timer you see up there on the left, that's that's for our hot tub. It uh, kills power during peak, which in the wintertime is between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. I went ahead and expanded the hole to an inch in diameter to give room for the uh, the antenna. Probably didn't need to do that, but it was really in a spot where it didn't matter uh, visually. A little bit of cleanup here. Um, there's some dust in the panel. Clean up the floor, keeps the wife happy. Uh, this isn't a real unboxing. I received this at work, so I've had it open once. Uh, seems really well packed. I like the uh, paper padding. It's not very much plastic inside the box. It should be pretty easy to recycle everything. The mounting bracket to mount it on the wall. Uh, seems like most people wouldn't use that. Um, that should just be something optional that you know they throw in, uh, only if you request it. Again, to save uh, packaging and recycling things that you're not going to use. The antenna cable here is pretty short. You can see that if I had to go to the top of the box, it would be very difficult. Uh, turns out I didn't need to. I could just go through the 2x4. I would imagine the main reason for the installing the antenna outside the box is to give it better Wi-Fi reception. And here you can see it's laying in there. Um, lots of space for everything else I need to install. I'm wearing rubber gloves here. Uh, I do a lot of electrical work. It's part of my job. Uh, wouldn't recommend just anyone open their panel. If you don't know what you're doing, absolutely hire a, an electrician. Shouldn't cost you that much. It'd take them maybe an hour. You can see that the 
the main power cables come in on the lower left hand side go all the way up to the top um, there's lots of room up top to install these clamps I thought I'd dress it up with some tie wraps here uh, it, it does make the, the having the power cables come in that way it makes the left side of the breaker box very hard to work on uh, you can see all the, the hot wires that run to the breakers or underneath those big heavy aluminum cables that come in from outside and uh, also you'll note that the uh, panel box is full there's there aren't any uh, empty breakers so I, I had decided to use the smallest ganged breaker which is the solar breaker it's a 20 amp breaker Hindsight being 2020, I probably should have used a 30 amp breaker, but I'm um, still pretty happy that I picked the smallest breaker. Uh, if there ever is a problem with the wiring from the breaker to the sense device, um, an example that would be it gets pinched under a panel and the insulation is is uh, punctured, and then there's a short to ground, uh, the breaker should trip pretty easily. You notice that these wires weren't stripped back very far. I um, wasn't sure how well that would make contact inside the breaker, especially since I already have solar, um, a, a piece of 12 gauge running into that. So I thought I'd just strip that back a little bit further. There you can see that it's stripped back. The ends of that's tin. This is stranded wire. Uh, it's probably not a bad idea if you have a soldering iron handy to go ahead and tin that. I didn't, but it's probably not a bad idea to uh, tin it all the way to uh, down to where you stripped it off. You can see they're in there. Uh, you can tighten up those screws pretty tight. Uh, again, there aren't any empty places over here for the neutral wire on the bus bar, so I just attached it to one there. And Clean it all up with some tie wraps just to keep it all out of the way. You also notice that I'm wearing glasses. If you do make a mistake in here, uh, my panel is one that I can't turn off the mains. It goes directly to the the meter, the only way to turn off power is to pull the meter, which you have to have the uh, electric company come out and do. Um, if you do make a mistake here and you get uh, some wires together, it's important to have safety glasses on so that uh, the molten metal doesn't smack you in the eyes and, and cause you problems. I've not ever had a problem in a breaker box, but you know, I've seen what can happen. The sense unit, even though I've ordered the solar sense, the middle uh, cover is still installed. They basically, when you order the solar, it looks like they add the extra clamps. And uh, you still have to pop out the little piece just as if uh, you, you order the clamps separately. Go ahead and plug everything in here. Um, you'll notice there's, I still have the breaker off. There's no power to this yet. the box of solar um, amp, amp clamps came in. The labels here I'm going to face towards the breaker box like the instruction said. The labels up top face towards the utility power so it's away from the breaker. I found that a little bit odd but it seemed to work that way so dress this up a little bit. There's a lot of extra cable since the uh, solar comes in at the bottom of the panel. So I'll just wrap that up and tie wrap it.
plug in the solar and try to get this box in there with all these wires and really wasn't a good way to mount it in there so I just kind of set it in there the best that I could and voila there it is and that was easy enough really uh, very straightforward to download the app uh, actually I had downloaded that before but it doesn't let you sign in until you have the the unit installed and powered up it wants to see the that wants to see the unit before you make the account. So we turn it on. It'll make a little beep when it's ready. Uh, have to put in your Wi-Fi information. I'm not going to show you that. So. And then you move on to the solar portion. Uh, you'll see here where it says waiting for off. I had actually already uh, turned it off and I forgot to show this to you. And since it takes five minutes for the solar to come back on after I turn it off, I didn't want to go do that again. I was having a good solar day and didn't want to waste all that power. But it'll start set up first and then it'll wait for off. You go turn it off and then it'll tell you to turn it off, back on. And you turn it on, and it waits for on. It takes about five minutes because the inverters protect uh, linemen from from uh, getting a reverse voltage from your solar system. It just has a five-minute delay after you restore power. And it completes the setup, and then it goes to the screen and shows you the MAC address.